name is Deacon Romanus Shiveka. I come from Musoli Parish in the Diocese of Kakamega. Today is a very happy day for me, for I have come to the conclusion of my religious uh, formation journey. The journey has not been so easy, it has been a long journey, but I thank God that today all that began about 11 years ago, it's coming to an end. I would wish in a special way to thank my parents who actually uh, gave me an opportunity and allowed me to join religious life. It is not easy, but they allowed me and here I am now uh, being ordained as a Catholic priest. I would also wish to thank all those who have helped me reach this far and for their support and prayers may God really uh, intervene in their life and give them whatever their heart desires be. And today as I celebrate this, I remember all those who could wish to be with me, but because of one reason or another and the pandemic that we are having, they are not here today. I know we are together praying. I wish them also the success in their life and I continue asking them for their prayers and support so that I may carry on in the mission of the Lord. Thank you very much and may God bless you. I'm very glad today and I'm very grateful to Almighty God. And this is the day that the Lord has made for all of us to rejoice. Rejoice and be glad in it with all the Catholic, the entire Catholic family. I'm very grateful to my parents especially who are the instruments through which God brought us into this world. And I thank them very much for their edu ed educational support, their emotional, psychological and, 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 and social support they offered us throughout our lives. I'm very grateful also to those our teachers, our lecturers, our friends, relatives uh, who molded us or who build us into the basics to make that to make sure that we become the men and the priests we are today. I thank them very much and may God bless them abundantly. Thank you. My name is Deacon Julia Sudor Masere and uh, today I'm very grateful for the noble vocation that is coming to completion. First of all, to say thank you to the Almighty God. And secondly, to my parents who nurtured my faith until I am what I am today. I also thank all those who have participated in my life and especially throughout this vocational journey to become a Catholic priest. And therefore, I thank them all for all the support, financial, spiritual, they gave to me during those moments that sometimes the journey was not so easy, but through their support, I'm able to be where I am today. Therefore, I thank the Lord and I thank everybody who participated in this. And therefore, let us praise the Lord together because of the great vocation that he has granted unto me. Wajina naitwa Shemasi Joseph Ambongo Shirika la Mtakatifu Francisco Wasale kutoka Jimbo la Kakamega parokia Our Lady Consolata Bukaya. Nina furaha nyingi sana kufika siku ya leo na haswa kumrudisha ya Mungu Shukurani kwa kipaji cha uhai na pia kipaji, kipaji ambacho amenipa haswa wito wa kumtumikia yeye haswa kutumikia watumishi wake hapa duniani safari imekuwa ya miaka mingi karibu miaka kumi nilipoanda maisha yangu ya malezi katika shirika letu la Francisco Wasale na wale ambao watafika siku ya leo hasa wazazi wana parokia wa Bukaya nina furaha sana kushiriki nao kusherekea wito wangu kuapishwa au kuapa kuwa padre katika kanisa katoliki I thank the Lord for this opportunity as we are coming closer to this altar special way I thank my parents who helped me to reach where I am today. Also I thank the missionaries, my former 
commentators and all those who have been with me. We have been for my personal year. I thank the Lord for all that. In a particular way, I have to thank God because He's the one who chose us. I'm sure He chose me in order to be His servant. Reaching this day for me, it's a great joy for me and all those who have been with me. Information and also we are working. I thank the Lord and all consulate missionaries. I thank all consulate friends in Kenya, Uganda region, and all those friends who have been with me. Christians from Elemental Parish who have been closer to me. I thank the Lord for them and I pray that God may continue strengthening them, helping them to continue being. It's a great pleasure having reached this moment, this time, in a special way, without forgetting the graces of God that has been upon me. I want to thank the mighty God for the gift of life and for the gift of vocation that He has awarded me. Vocation is always a call, it's always a journey. Today I'm here to witness the greatness of God in my life. The journey has been so long and tiresome. At the same time, it has been rich and full of faith. It is now beyond 12 years, almost 13 years, since I entered the consulate of missionaries. I'm happy and I feel the joy of being part and parcel of this family. Today, I'll be ordained priest in the Catholic Church as a consulate missionary. It's a great joy and pleasure, honor to thank God and each one of you for all that you can today. May the Lord bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, 
God's praying. Oh God, who have taught the ministers of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters. God, we pray that these, your servants, whom you have graciously chosen today for the office of deacon and priesthood, may be effective in action, general in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At that time, as the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together a community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the Spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and the ministry of the Word. And the proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. And they presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of the Lord. We was Saburi. Saburi ni amoja na kumi. Tosema hivi. Ndiwe kuhani hata milele. Ndiwe kuhani hata milele. Kwa mfano wake melkizedeki. Kwa mfano wake Ndiwe kuhani hata milele kwa mfano wake Melkizedeki. Ndiwe kuhani hata milele kwa mfano wake Melkizedeki. Tutaongoza na wanakwaya. Yeah. 
proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, the Lord appointed seventy-two others and set them one ahead of him to buy through into every town and place where he himself was about to come. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way, Behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no pulse, no bag, no sandals, and salute no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, fast say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace shall rest upon him. But if not, he shall return to you. And remain the same house, eating and drinking what they provide. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter town and they receive you, eat what is said before you. Heal the sick, in it and say to them, the kingdom of God has come here to you. <coughs> the gospel of the Lord. There we be seated. At this juncture, therefore, we will invite the vocation director, the Archdiocese of Kisumu, to call upon the candidates, the accolades, so that he may be presented to the bishop before the altar. He will be followed by the vocation director, the consulator, and lastly, the vocation director of the Francilian missionaries. Dennis John Owino, son of George Ranginya Ondago and Patricia Atieno Ranginya, I ask you to come forward so that you may receive the donation to the Arconet. I am ready and willing. Jean Marie Bombalo Baconda, son of Nobat Baconda and Regina Atomangi, I ask you to come forward to receive the order of deacon. I am ready and willing. Deacon Julius Oduor Masere, son of the late Naftali Masere, 
and Selena Marcel. I ask you to come forward to receive the sacrament of priest. I am ready and willing. Deacon Romanus Shiveka, <coughs> son of Isaac Hataka Delet, and Emily Muinamo, I ask you to come forward to receive the order of priesthood. <laughs> Deacon Francis Otieno Oyolo, son of Lucas Oyolo and Millicent Atieno, I ask you to come forward to receive the order of priesthood. I am ready and waiting. We invite Father Gustin, the blessed of the Superior, the Francilian, to call the candidates. I request Deacon Fabian Wasonga Yamasafes, son of George Wami Okungu, and let Karen Oti and Awabi to come forward and receive the order of priesthood. I'm ready and willing. I request Deacon Joseph Abongo Yamasapes, son of John Orengo and Helen Abiti to come forward and receive the order of priesthood. I am ready and willing. <laughs> After accepting the call, they will be escorted to the altar by their parents to be received and officially welcomed by the Archbishop. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Journalism at 
Bangalore University in India from 2013 to 2016. Obedis Regency and MSFS Provincial Lady in Morocco, Tanzania 2016. 2017 Joint Theological Studies at Jordan University College in Tanzania. Great final profession vows 2019 August. Today, Nicole, October 2020. Nicole Julius Ward comes from Buddha Village, Sierra County. Consulate Institute for also paid the title of 2015. Took his professional vows 2016. Finishing novitiate in Sagan. Later joined the Mahala House of Theology at Sagan's University College 2016-2020. Took final vows 2021. That's St. John the Evangelist Parish Karen. Go to the Nikon, the year 2021. Nikon Romanos Shibaka comes from Kakamega Diocese, from St. Pius, the 10th Mussoli Parish. Joint Consular Commissioner is Sagas Martinelli, with Joint Points Commission, Joint Prince of the Matari Nyeri. To the title of the Joint Consulate Seminary. Of Philosophical Studies and Postulancy. Completed in 2018. Proceeded for Nomi Shekin Saga. Leaders, First Leaders Profession, 2016. For the Mano House. Deacon Francis Otieno Yolo. Studied in Italy, consulate missionary from the border parish. Recommendation 
of those concerned with his training, I testify that Jean Marie Baconda has been found working. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, and we choose this man, our brother, to the order of deacon. We all say thanks be to God. Most Reverend Father, the Holy Mother Church requests you to ordain our brothers here present for the office of presbyter. And do you know if we are worthy? After inquiry among the people of God and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that Julius Masere, Francis Otieno, and Romanos Shibeka have been found worthy. And we rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, and we choose these men, our brothers, to the order of great presbyter. We all say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. We call upon Vocation Director Francilian to present the candidates. Most Reverend Father, the Holy Mother of the Church requests you to ordain our brothers here present for the office of the presbyter. Do you know if they are worthy? After inquiry among the people of God, and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. And we rely on the help of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And we choose these men, our brothers, to the order of Presbyter. We all respond, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. At this moment, we we'll invite the candidates to be seated as we listen to the homily from the Archbishop. Brothers in the priesthood, brothers and sisters in the consecrated life, our dear beloved people of God, the family, parents, and family members of this, our brothers, to be ordained to the clerical order and all of you present good morning. Good morning. The purpose of my dear brothers to be ordained to the clerical order, the purpose and nature of this solemn celebration as the ordination of you here present to the clerical status is as I want to give you some brief. One, this purpose, the purpose and nature of this celebration here is to describe and define the dignity of the Catholic priesthood. It is also to enlighten you over the challenges that involve in this dignity and the way to exercise this office faithfully and effectively. This is the purpose of us being here. I will not go to preach now, but I will want to admire and encourage you to repeat every now and then the homily in the light of ordination. Repeat it periodically, and you will see that it is narrating a great experience of priestly life. Reflect if you need, contemplate on it. It will be called, you will be called upon 
to use all the resources of your priesthood thus and to the great nature of your life to accept the gifts that come from God as a natural grace for you for the following reason to persuade the people of God to leave behind their sinful ways and embark on the road to Christian holiness together with you to persuade the people of God, the people of God, to leave their sinful ways as you help them to embark on the Christian role of holiness together with you. My dear brothers, you know as well as I do that the office of the priesthood is executed upon earth because we are serving the people of God here on earth. But it is its importance and dignity also has to be attached yet to its rank among things that are heavenly and with God himself. And this reason of attracting in the world and the heavenly connection is very important for you, my dear brothers. You have had your recollection, you have had your retreat, your formation. These are just points for you to reflect upon as you enter today into the state of clerical life. The power who priest with us. The power that you are going to receive as servants of God, priests and deacons, must be approached with great ill, with great respect, with great ill and great reverence. It is a gift that you receive from God himself even in your unworthiness so that you may journey with a sinful people of God on their path on the Christian path to holiness. St. Paul will remind us about it in his most secret or his most fundamental experience of life in Corinthians 2 or 2 Corinthians 11 3 and following you know as Paul he failed that office that he was given by God he failed and did it with a lot of fear and trembling and the whole chapter of that Corinthians 2, Corinthians 11, 3 and following is all about it. By this consecration, you will attire more easily to Christ with an undivided heart. You will be more freely at the service of God and mankind, and you will be more unhindered in the ministry of Christian conversion and rebirth. By your life and character, you will give witness to your brothers and sisters in faith that God must be loved above all else, and that it is He whom you serve in others. Therefore, I ask you, in the presence of God and the Church, are you resolved as a sign of your interior dedication to Christ to remain celibate to the, to the sake of the kingdom and in lifelong service to God and mankind? I am. I am. May the Lord help you to persevere in this commitment. Amen. Amen. 
my sons, before you are ordained to a uh, deacon, you must declare before the people your intention to under undertake this office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church ministry by the, by the laying of all of hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I am. I am. And are you resolved to discharge the office of deacon with humility and love in order to assist the bishop and the priest and to serve the people of God of Christ? I am. I am. Are you resolved to hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience as the apostle urges and to proclaim this faith in word and in action as it is taught by the gospel and the church tradition? I am. I am. Are you resolved to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours for the church and for the whole world. I am. I am. Are you resolved to shape your way of life always according to the example of Jesus Christ whose body and blood you will give to the people of God? I am with the help of God. I am with the help of God. At this moment, again, we invite the candidates to priesthood to be examined by the Archbishop if they're ready for the office. So, my dear sons, before you proceed to be ordained as priest, declare before the people your intention to undertake the priestly office. Are you resolved, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral order as a conscious, as a conscious fellow worker with the bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? I am. Are you resolved to celebrate the mysteries of Christ faithfully? and religiously, as the church has handed them down to us for the glory of God and the sanctification of Christ's people. I am. Are you resolved to hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience as the apostle urges and to proclaim this faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and the church's tradition? I am. Are you resolved to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours for the church and for the whole world? I am. Are you resolved to decide the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and explaining the Catholic faith? I am. Are you resolved to consecrate your life to God for the salvation of his people and to unite yourself more closely every day to Christ the High Priest who offered himself for us to the Father as a perfect sacrifice? I am with the help of God. After examination, all the candidates will go before the Archbishop for the promise of obedience. And do you promise respect and obedience to me, your superior, and, and my and his successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Do you promise respect and obedience to me? To your superior and my and his successors, I do. And may God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. 
Do you promise respect and ability to me, to your superior, and to my and his successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Do you promise respect and obedience to me, to your superior, and to my and his successors? I do. And may God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Do you promise respect and obedience to me, to your superior, and to my and his successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. And you promise respect and obedience to me, to your superior, and my and his successors. I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Do you promise respect and obedience to me, to your superior, and to my and his successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. So dear me, Lord, let us pray to God the Father, all powerful that he may shower his gifts from heaven to these, our servants and his servants, the ones he has chosen for the office of deacon and the ones he has chosen for the office of prestigious. <laughs>
Oh, 
Almighty God, be present with us by your power. You are the source of all honor. You assign to each his or his rank, and you give to each his ministry. You may you remain unchanged, but you watch over all creation and make it new through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is the Word, your power, and your wisdom. You foresee all things in your eternal providence and make due provision for every age. You make the church, Christ's body, grow to its full stature as a new and greater temple. You enrich it with every kind of grace and perfect it with a diversity of members to serve the whole body in a wonderful pattern of unity. You establish a threefold ministry of worship and serve and service for our glory, for the glory of your name. As ministers of your tabernacle, you choose the sons of Levi and gave your blessing as their everlasting inheritance. In the first days of your church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the apostles of your son appointed seven men of great virtues to assist them in the daily ministry, so that they themselves might be more free for prayer and preaching. By prayer and the laying of on of hands, the apostles entrusted to those deacons, those chosen men, the ministry of serving a stable. Lord, look with favor on these servant of, servants of yours, whom we now dedicate to the office of deacon to minister at your holy altar. Lord, send forth upon them the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May they excel in every virtue, in love that is sincere, in concern for the sick and the poor, in, a, in an assuming authority, in self-discipline, and in holiness of life. And may their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to imitate their purity of life. May they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, giving to the world the witness of a pure conscience. And may they, in the life, in this life, imitate your Son, who came not to be served, but to serve, and one day reign with him in heaven. We ask this. Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the image of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We now thank God we have two deacons in the Catholic Church for God to pass the move. That prayer will be consecrated, deacons. We now invite. We need down to the consecration. Listen to us, we pray, Lord, our God, and pour out upon the servants of yours the blessings of the Holy Spirit and the strength given to the priesthood. In your sight, we offer these candidates to be set apart for this sacred office. In your unfailing generosity, accept our decision. Blue we will now have laying on of hands of the candidates. We will only have 
de Bishop, de Vicas, de Sutiles, de Vocation Directors, the rest of the priests, we will just stand and stretch our hands to the candidates at the time of the prayer consecration. All the priests we arise. Please do not stretch your hands towards the candidates. Almighty God, come to our help. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, you are the source of every honor and dignity and all progress and stability. Mighty Father, grant to these servants of yours the dignity of their priesthood. Renew within them the spirit of holiness. As co-workers with the, the order of bishops, may they be faithful to the ministry that they receive from you, Lord God, and be, the, be to others a model of right conduct. May they be faithful in working with the order of bishops, so that the words, words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth, and the family of nations made one in Christ may become God's one holy people. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the nature of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. With that prayer, we now have five new priests for the church. <laughs> this moment, the two deacons will be presented with the book of the Gospel. Receive the Gospel of Christ, whose herald you are now. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. He is now showing us his tool of work. The gospel to be proclaimed. <laughs> Let 
receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you will read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. At this moment, we invite the new Lord and Priest for the anointing of hands. The Father, anointed Jesus Christ as Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus keep you worthy of offering sacrifice to God and sanctifying the Christian assembly. The Father made Jesus Christ as Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus keep you worthy of offering sacrifice to God and sanctifying the Christian assembly. The Father, anointed Christ Jesus as Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus keep you worthy of offering sacrifice by God to God and sanctifying the Christian assembly. The Father, Jesus Christ, as Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit, may Jesus keep you worthy of offering sacrifice to God and sanctifying the Christian after you. And the Father anointed Jesus Christ as the Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus keep you worthy of offering sacrifice to God and sanctifying the Christian assembly.
receive the gifts from the people to be offered to God. Be conscious of what you are doing. Be as holy as the actions you perform and model your life after the mystery of the long schools. Accept the gifts from the people to be offered to God. Be conscious of what you are doing. Be as holy as the actions you perform and model your life after the mystery of the Lord's cross. Accept the gifts from the people to be offered to God. Be conscious of what you are doing. Be as holy as the actions you perform and model your life after the mystery of the Lord's cross. Accept the gifts from the people to be offered to God. Be conscious of what you are doing. Be as holy as the actions you perform and model your life after the mystery of the Lord's cross. presentation to the gift of bread and wine which are is imparting. Now follows the kiss of peace. Without any contact, we invite the Archbishop, the Vicars, the Superiors, the Vocation Director to come and show them the sign of peace. Or the choir can give us a song. The sign of peace of Corona.
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May God accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord of His name. For our good and the good of His soul and church. O God, who have willed that you are deacons and priests, should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice we pray that the labors of your servants may constantly please you and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest, of the new and eternal covenant, to set before your children the Paschal banquet and to lead your holy people with charity to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be comforted to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. <laughs>
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. To this, in the name of the Blessed Joseph Alamano and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord. Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Pope Francis, our Archbishop Philip, the order of bishops, this, especially these your servants who have been ordained today as priests, as ordained today as a priests and deacons, as ministers for the church, all the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to depart to brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at the person from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Oh. 
from Valley Divine Teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not to the devil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and gracious will and peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look out on our sins from the faith of your church, and gracious will grant our peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign. Forever, the peace of the Lord will be all. Let us offer each other the time.
the new Indian priests who will give their first place to blessing to the Archbishop. They will do it all together at the same time. May, by the imposition of our hands and through the intercession of the most holy Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, has first most chaste, saints, Peter and Paul, saint, Francis, Alice, and blessed Joseph Alamano. May the mighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, remain upon you now and forever. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the 
and this one and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen.